Hello there, welcome to the Instagram puzzle feed product guide. Any puzzle feed that you purchase from prettywebs.com is going to look and be formatted in the exact same way. So right now you're looking at the coffee themed Instagram puzzle feed. Uh, but again, they're all going to have the same setups. So after purchase, you're going to get a download. Once you have that downloaded, it'll be in a zip file. So you'll have to unzip the file. Once it's unzipped, you're going to get something that looks like this, IG Puzzle Feed, and in this case, this is coffee. Inside of that folder, you're going to get the Instagram feed puzzle itself in a PSD format, and then you're going to get a product support page. Okay, so when you initially open up the file, you'll notice that you don't see the slices. So if you would like to see where the slices are, meaning where your, your image is going to be cut up, then you can come over to view and then down to show and make sure that slices is selected. That's going to show you exactly what your image is going to look like when it's all sliced up um, and, and uh, exported as individual images. I want to show you a few things here. We're going to zoom in a little bit. Now you'll see here in the corner of the slices that you have a number and then a little image mark. You can make changes to this by using the slice select tool. You'll usually find that tool right here under the crop tool. We'll co come over to slice select and then we're just going to double click on that number right there. That's going to give you your slice options, your slice uh, name right here so you can change this this is actually it's it, by default going to be the name of, of the PSD file and then it'll have an 01 for picture number one, 02 and so on you can add um, all of your meta metadata here as well alt tags um, and things like that and then also you can make sure that your width and height are exactly what you need it to be which is 1080 by 1080 for Instagram. So we're going to click OK. We can check out a couple more. Um, you can see right here how it changed from 01 to 02. And that's just the naming sequence that Photoshop is giving it. If you want to change that, or if you want it just to be 02, or if you're using this for a campaign, you can definitely change these one by one to uh, anything you want, but the most important part is that you keep that numbering sequence intact so that you know how to upload these when you're putting them up on Instagram. Okay, so I'm going to turn this off because I don't want to see the slices right now. You have the ability right here to move these frames. So you can definitely grab this and move it up if you if you like to. But uh, I kept these like this just in case you want to go through the feed and then start over. So if you if you have this a little lower down, that's just going to cut off into your next image and it's not going to make any sense. So as long as you keep the top and the bottom right here, so you have the top clear and the bottom clear, you're fine to use this over and over and over again. Now the first layer we have is our coffee overlay. This is all of the stuff that we're laying on top of these images. You're not getting individual PNG files. This is just one giant overlay that's going on top of this image. Now you can change this um, just by moving them up or down. You know, if you want to have it uh, closer to the bottom or top, you can definitely do that, but you cannot move them individually. Close it so you can kind of see this is what it's going to look like. And yeah, you can't pick up this spoon and move it over there or do any of that. Um, it's just one overlay. So that's just something to keep in mind. We also have some background accents. You can either use these or not. If you feel like you need a little more interest, say you have a lot of white space. I know Instagram loves white space, but if you don't, if you don't want the white space, you can add this just to give yourself a little more interest in the background. And that's also going to be helpful if you decide you don't want as many 
photo frames in this as uh, we've put together here. You can come in and um, just remove a frame by turning off this little eyeball. And when you export it, it's going to export without that frame there. So you can definitely turn on frames, turn them off. And then the last thing I want to show you is this color. So for this, you have your, your background is going to be white. If you want a color change on your background, so I'm going to double click here. And if I wanted that background to be red, then I could change that here. Maybe yellow. So you can, you can make changes to the background and it's going to affect the overall look of your Instagram feed. Or maybe you have branding or some specific colors that you use in all of your photos. Now for the photo frames. You'll choose the frame that you want to use and if you're not seeing these little, these little handles right here, then um, all you have to do is press the letter V on the keyboard. We're going to choose this frame right here and we're going to double click on this little icon down at the bottom. Now once you have that up, you'll go to File, Place Embedded, and we're going to choose a picture. Let's choose this one right here. And we're going to place that image inside there, adjust the sizing, Press enter and then just close this out. Make sure to save the changes. It will, this will pop up automatically asking if you want to, if you want to save the changes, you do. So we're going to press save and then your image is automatically placed in there. So let's do one more. We're going to choose this second image right here. And I just want to show you quickly, so if we open, I'm going to double click this to open it up. And you'll notice that this is straight up and down like this. And when you open it up as a PSB file, it's always going to be a straight up and down image like that. I'm going to close it, but if you move this here, and then I get back in there, it's still going to be that same shape. So we're going to add an image here Then we'll choose her. We're going to place her in there. And then we're just going to enlarge the image. You can tell that a lot of this image is going to get cropped off. So we have areas of the image here that you're not going to be able to see in the actual photo. We're going to save that and now you'll see that the image is placed in there and she is at an angle. So once you're happy here and you're, you've adjusted your images the way you would like them, we're going to export this entire thing. So we're going to come over to File, Export, Save for Web. So it's going to be very big. So you're, when you look at it here in the viewer, you're not really going to see much. So we need to come down here to the bottom and zoom out. And you can see that it's right now at 6% of the actual image size, but it's showing you everything that's in this image and how it's going to be sliced out. Uh, you can set your image type right here and we're going to hit save. Now it's going to ask us where we want to save. Make sure that your format is image only, that your settings are default and that you're exporting all slices. We're going to come over and uh, this is where we saved it on our desktop IG feed photos and then we made a new file. So it's going to have a file called images. All of your images are right there. Okay, and they're all numbered in sequential order. So you'll know exactly how they need to be uploaded to Instagram.